and want the cauliflower in small florets or as small as the constraints of my patients will allow. I can't take much credit for this transformation because it's all down to the warm spices and the heat of the oven. It's just a bit of regular olive oil. And now the spices. Just a little cinnamon to evoke the sweetness of a balmy night in Morocco. And I'm going to be a bit heavier handed with the cumin, a spice that's irresistible to me. I want to disperse the spices in the oil to stop them clumping in the oven later. And now, in these go. The oil is just enough to help the spices stick to the cauliflower and to stop the cauliflower from drying out in the oven. Roast cauliflower is a glorious thing. It doesn't hurt either that there's very little washing up involved. Right, this goes into a hot oven, and I mean hot. I don't need to wash this up. I just add the cauliflower's partner in crime, some chickpeas. You can use canned chickpeas too, but the ones in a jar are really lush. And to these, I want the heat of harissa, Moroccan chilli paste. I'm dolloping in quite a lot because both the cauliflower and chickpeas can withstand a bit of fierceness. I love the way the tomatoes almost ooze into a dressing in the heat of the oven. Cauliflower has already lost its Victorian pallor, and things are really going to brighten up for it now. Love having an implement in each hand. Makes me feel busy, but in an unchallenging way. And this goes back in just so the cauliflower cooks a little more. The chickpeas are already cooked. And the wonderful thing about the oven's heat is that the cauliflower will soften, but it doesn't get soggy. I'm grabbing a hefty amount of parsley because I don't want it as mere decoration, but as the salad leaf itself. I know there's quite a lot here, not that it stopped me before, but this is fantastic cold as well. lunch tomorrow.